What's going on guys? Steve Kempf, SK Photography. As some of you may know, I attended the June 24th beginner slash intermediate boot camp that Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, held in Philadelphia. Let me start out by just saying this. Wow. I am, I am absolutely speechless of what I got. The price that I paid to go to this boot camp, a lot of people think, you know, wow, it's, it's a little high price and everything. In my opinion, in my opinion, I would have probably paid about close to $600 to attend one of these things. It was unbelievable. I started out, you know, I got there and I was walking to the loft. I was very nervous not knowing what Jared Poland would be like in person or Adam Lerner for that matter. And once I got there, I, I got a welcome from Adam Lerner. Hey, thank you for coming. And then Jared Poland upstairs saw me and responded, Steven! That goes to show. And he thought we actually met before in person. I've been following Jared Poland for about a year now. And I've always recasted with him, always sending him questions. And that's how much we've talked that he thought we've met in person before. But that, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I arrived and got my welcome package, which some of you who attend the boot camps in the future could expect. And I uh, started talking about, you know, who I am, where I'm from with the other uh, fellow photographers who were there to learn. And it was a great turnout. We had beautiful weather. It was not hot out at all. Um, we had a nice breeze, so that definitely kept us cool, and it was just an amazing time. The food was great. Uh, we had people come from all over the world, uh, not the world, uh, the country. Uh, we had, the, I think the furthest we had was a kid from Louisiana. Uh, he traveled the furthest. Uh, we, asked, we also had a woman from Florida, I believe from Virginia. We had a man from Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania right here. And it was just a great overall time. You know, I went there with the expectations of, you know, just trying to, I know my basic manual. I went there knowing the uh, exposure triangle, which is ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. But I still went there because I know I could always better myself in some type of way. And that's exactly what I got. Um, you know, I was noticing that I knew a little bit more about photography than some other of the photographers, and that happens. Other photographers might know a little bit more about somebody else, but that can also help you because you could teach them your uh, tricks and your skills that you have and also help them out, you know, when the uh, teachers are busy. But that's the thing about the teachers being busy. You, you could always jump in and ask a question to Adam Lerner or Jared Pollan. You know, there was never a time where you were waiting around waiting for your question to be answered they were always there to help you no matter what hey i got a question shoot go right ahead tell me well, what's your question bam it was just awesome to actually meet jared paul and adam Lerner and get one-on-one -on -one skills from them um the food was great i had a roast beef sandwich and uh it was just great it was an overall great day um I know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this was in my welcome package. It's a little notebook with the Fronos photo sticker on it. So we could take notes going through the day and, uh, you know, just so you could bring home, just in case if you forgot anything, you could refer back to this. And, well, let me tell you some of the things that I used. Um, cropping. Some photographers love cropping. Some photographers try not to but will. Other photographers refuse to crop. Jared Poland and Adam were telling me that, you know, cropping, you know, you're not really challenging yourself as the picture, you know. You could just go and go click, oh, I think I got that in the picture, I'll just crop it out later. No, if you really want to challenge yourself and learn new skills, take the picture as it is and don't crop it. Frame it up the way you want it to, make sure, you know, what you want in the photo is in the photo and then take it. Don't crop anything. There really shouldn't be any need to crop. You should be able to take the photo just the way it is. Um, find out what type of photographer you are. What's your style? You know, style, I've talked in many of my other videos about style. You don't want to just go off about, you know, go to Jared Poland's work and be like, oh, I'm going to do what he does. Or go to Eric Rossi's or Snapchicks or Adam Lerner's uh, photography and be like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. No. Go to all of them. Go to mine. See what we all do, what our similarities, our differences, and pull those differences out. You know, pull those differences out, 
clash them together and see what you come up with. If you like it, go ahead and do it. Formulate your own style. Come up with what you want. You know, I guess with my style, yesterday I was talking to uh, one of my uh, good friends and she asked me, you know, what's your favorite subject to shoot? And the first thing that kind of popped in my mind was people. You know, I could position them the way I want them. I can move around them, get the sun to be blocked. You know, there are a lot more leeway than you do with landscape. I'm still working on my landscapes. I do love taking photographs of landscapes, but people are my, what I like to do and just have fun. Also candid photos I like to take too. Um, I definitely got composition down. You know, like I understood the basics of composition, but what it really is, if I had to sum it up in one sentence, composition is how you set up your picture. The angle, you know, the ex exposure triangle, um, what, you know, black and white, color, how you want your picture to be. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, how you could use out of focus pictures to bring you into the focus subject. For instance, I'm not saying a picture that's completely out of focus. Let's just use me for example. I'm in focus, everything around me is completely out of focus. So like you could tell I'm like in a deck area, I'm outside, but you're not looking around being like, oh look at that bird over there, or look at that pool behind me. It brings it into the subject, making your subject much sharper as well. Another thing I'm really happy I learned this, tell a story with your picture. As an example, I will put up a photo right here. Um, as you can see in this photo, uh, my subject, who is Sarah, is in complete focus, but then there's a man or a woman right on the side of it who is out of focus. Well, why is he out of focus and she's in focus? It tells a story. You see him holding a camera and taking a picture of our subject who is in focus. It tells a story. The photographer taking the picture of the subject you know it's important but it's not he's not the subject the subject is the subject so i put her in in focus and the photographer out of focus it, you could look at it and be like i know what's going on he's taking a he's doing a photo shoot and that's what i also like to do on my photo shoots i like to bring one of my friends along to take photos of me while i'm taking photographs of my uh client slash subject and uh, so I can use for my portfolio. So that's a definitely a great way to get your uh, photographs to get uh, popping, tell a story. Um, it, it's unbelievable. I have so many things right here that I can go through, but you know, it's just unbelievable. It, it really is unbelievable. And who is bothering me right now? Okay. But to wrap it up, I had an amazing time. Uh, Jared Poland. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you're probably getting really annoyed at me of saying that, but you really, truly are an inspiration to me as well as other photographers. Um, Adam Lerner, it was great meeting you. You know, I, I loved getting one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, learning skills from you, teaching me just the slightest little things that I could change in my photography, you know, and just helping me out the whole way. You know, whenever I had a question, hey, Jared, can you help me? Sure. Hey, Adam. Can you help me? Absolutely. Not, they never hesitated to help you, never hesitated to, you know, be like, oh, hold on one second, you know, I'll help you in a minute. Immediate attention, immediate. And the wind is blowing really badly. I hope my camera doesn't get knocked over, but it's on a good tripod. But right now, I'm going to uh, make a slideshow for you guys with the song that she, most of you should recognize. It's the Nikon rap by Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And this is just some of the photos that we took today, or I took myself. And uh, overall, we had a great time. So please, I recommend this boot camp for anyone who is just buying a new camera or is like me, you know, know the basics of manual and want to take your skills to a further level. Anyone anyone this boot camp is for anyone who loves photography so stay tuned for the slideshow of the pictures that i took on the fronos photo boot camp i am damn proud that i attended and i could not be happier sk photography keep on shooting guys please subscribe and enjoy the slideshow
show to bro when shit knocks them down like dominoes Yeah, the pro knows, pro toes All those jokers, they don't know The candid shots, they show to bro when shit knocks them down like dominoes Yeah, the pro knows, pro toes Shit. 